cheese, right? Grub lovers, who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I've been getting okay, I'm gonna tell you this first. So, I've been getting uh, a lot of feedback about you know my cheese steak and stuff that I got from Miami Grill. You know, so a lot of places was like, you know, come check us out. We got some good, you know, cheese steaks here. So, it's this one spot that, I, that a guy actually told me, like, hey man. Check this spot out. You know what I mean? They have great Philly cheesesteaks. So I'm like, okay, I'll check them out. What's, what's they called? He was like, the stove. Really, nigga? I'm like, the stove? So I'm like, hey, what's the name on, on the building? Oh, no. I just call it the stove. Like, the stove? Oh, my gosh. So he explained it to me where it was location-wise. So it's funny because it looks like it used to be a gas station, but then it changed to like a food mart. So it really ain't no name for it. Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> it's just called Food Mart up top. So I see why he call it the stove. So it started to make sense after a while. But I was like, I'm going to check it out anyway because, like I said, guys, it's a lot of local places that you don't know about that have really good food. So I was like, I'm going to head over there and check it out. So I went over there, asked for the Philly cheesesteak, and they smiled, like, coming right up. So, I mean, they must know. And it was a good amount of people in there. So I went ahead and got my Philly cheesesteak. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's really hot. But look, it ain't even expensive. Man. Let me let y'all see it. Let's see if I can flip it so that you can see it, right? So $6.99. I know it's back, but you guys check it out. $6.99 I paid for this. Um, foot long. So that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and let you guys see this real quick, man. And then we're going to dive in on it. All right? Check it out. come down to the sandwiches the hot sandwiches wrapped up in full man you're trying to conserve the heat and i told y'all when i go to a lot of local places they do that man they ain't a, everywhere don't do that but them local places they do that you know what i'm saying i also decided to try this out you know coke has a new flavor out uh the orange vanilla man so i was like i wanted to try that because it was new and see how it is too Good. It kind of reminds me of like a, excuse me, like a cream soda. So I had to try that out, man. That's really good. So let's go ahead and dig on this sandwich, man, so y'all can first move it, let y'all see this. This thing is really hot, by the way. See that? This thing is hot, man. But I like, I told him to give me the green peppers, you know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to try it out with my peppers on it. Got my onions. Of course, you gotta have your cheese, right? <laughs> Y'all know I like when it be hot like that. Man, that's good. They season that meat just right. I Man, you know, there's no season seasoning i should say i don't care where you at there's no seasoning as good as onions and my onions is it's something about the grilled onions man that brings some seasoning out of stuff i'm telling you mm. man that's good mm. that's busting that's me, man. That's what I like. I like to go places and then be surprised because the food is amazing. That's why I say I don't be caring about all that, man, what the place look like and all of that. As long as the kitchen clean, you know, the people clean that's serving it, 
I try, man. I put them to the test because that's what I do. All these people get so accustomed to judging the taste of food based on the presentation of the restaurant. And my thing is, I understand that uh, location is key. I also understand that uh, presentation is everything. I understand all those things, you know what I'm saying? To a certain extent. Which means if you go to a five-star restaurant, right, you'll never see the person cooking, the chef, anybody in uniform that's dirty. Because the presentation means everything. If I see you filthy, I'm going to think that your food is unclean, right? But then you go to a place uh, that's not five star. Food could be delicious, but the the cook, you know, his 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 apron is dirty and things like that. Food be real good because they like, man, this dude be cooking all day. I know this food good. I see the difference may not be in the food; it may be in the stars. So, five stars require more, you know, finesse and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you got to remember, too, everything takes time. So, if you put more time into one or the other, you'll be able to see where you're lacking you put more time into the appearance of the person or the or the restaurant you may be able to see the difference in the taste of the food because you don't have that kind of time to put in your food that's one thing i always said too like if i ever got into a position to you know have money or be well off and things like that I would never want to be that guy that go to them, start eating at them restaurants where your main course costs you two, three hundred dollars, but it's the size of an Oreo cookie. Just because they give it a fancy name and put a high price tag on it, people sit there and order this food and, oh man, this looks good. Don't know what half of it is. And then at the same time, still be hungry when they leave. I ain't got time for that. So, I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying different foods. There's nothing wrong with, you know, in, enjoying or indulging in high price things when you can afford it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? But not to the extent of changing who you are. You know what I'm saying? It seems like money does that to a lot of people. You know? They forget why people love them in the first place. That's, that's my thing. I never want to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? And I think it helps out a lot too. You know, that you stay rooted in the community. It makes it... It makes it easier for you to... Um, remain humble. And not get caught up in superficial realities so you know I do whatever it takes to be that guy even in the midst of being successful I still know I can be that guy you know what I'm saying but regardless of what this food is delicious, man. Shout out to the stoke. All right. I'm going to have to stop in on there and let them know, man, that, you know, people put me on to them and that 
everything was on point. I mean, definitely have to holler at the store. Now, I know everybody, everybody got a, got a store in their neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? It's just like everybody got a candy lady. Everybody got the store house. You know what I'm saying? There's always somebody. You know what I mean? Everybody got a hustle man who will wash a car, you know what I'm saying, inside and out for $6. Everybody got that. So you can say you don't, but I know you do. So, you know, I wasn't familiar with the stove up here, but now I found it. So I'm going to definitely be jumping on the stove. If you guys got a stove in your area, man, shoot, check them out, man. You just never know. Like, you know what I mean? That's my whole thing. Don't put nothing, you know, uh, past yourself just because of what somebody else tells you. Because one thing I've noticed is when there's something good and people tell you about it, everybody want to try it, right? But if it's something bad, everybody decides, you know what, I ain't going to try that because I heard bad stuff. But you got to remember, everyone's different. You know, everybody might have went there with the same idea, but everybody got different taste buds. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about when you're making pasta or spaghetti at home, you add your own seasonings to it. Some people put a lot of cheese. Some people put a lot of salt. Some people put either, either or neither one, right? But then you go to, let's say, an Italian restaurant, they automatically going to have, you know, the pasta. They might throw a little sauce right in the middle, and then they'll give you, like, Parmesan cheese if you want to sprinkle it on there, whatever like that. And it's generalized because they don't know how each individual likes their pasta. And that's most food. Most food, most places you go there have, like, salt and pepper on the, you know, uh, on the table or whatever because they don't know, um, you know, how people enjoy their food. Me, excuse me. Me personally, like, I don't like heavy salt, right? But there's a lot of people that just, like, can't eat my food without salt. So, that's why I say I never try to go into a place with high expectations. And I don't just go off of what one person says. It's always best to try it yourself and put it to the test. And that's what I do. So, the stove is busting. If you, like I said, if you guys ever have a stove in your area, man. Check them out. Try your luck. You just never know. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up on my good Philly sub from the stove. And I'll get at you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Comment below. Let me know if you find the stove. <laughs> Until next time, you guys. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.